Have you ever tried talking with someone who just doesn't get it or worse, bullies the conversation and will not let you get a word in edgewise? Well, there are some things you can do to communicate with these types of people. And joining me now with some tips on how to handle uh, difficult people is Wendy Bahari. Uh, she is the director of the Cognitive Therapy Center of New Jersey and the author of the book, Disarming the Narcissist. Thanks for joining us, Wendy. Hi, Janet. Great to be with you. So are those the toughest people, those who are really into themselves, narcissists who really don't want to think about anyone else, don't want to listen to anybody else because it is all about them? Absolutely. I think that the narcissist is probably the toughest person to deal with. They, you feel invisible, you feel ignored, you feel bullied, you feel like your opinions don't matter. It's, it's, um, it's very hurtful at times and intimidating and can cause us to just shut down and avoid conversations completely with these types of people. All right, because, because you know we're going to run into people like that every now and then, uh, how do we get around that? How do we find a way to get along? Well, we're, we are going to run into people like this, and some of them, you know, are our family members. And so, you know, there's a, there's a few things we can do. One in particular is if there's an opportunity to set limits, meaning, you know, set limits in terms of time and frequency and exposure to this type of person, by all means, be careful, be protective of yourself, set limits. Uh, but in some cases, we do have to interact with them. And as we're interacting with them, we want to remember that, they push our buttons so the key is to be able to identify what is it that's getting in our way and once we know what that is that gets in our way we can begin to work through practice some new skills unlearn some of the distorted or biased beliefs that we've held within us for a long period of time and and take them on with more conviction more confidence and hold them accountable where they need to be held accountable you know where they're taking our rights away and we were just looking at that full screen where it said don't agree just to agree uh, don't bully or yes. be bullied right. never accept abuse right uh, and and those are things that a lot of people make happen to themselves or they allow it to happen to themselves because they have a fear of rejection yes. they're shy they're afraid of being hurt they don't know exactly what to say uh, these are tough things to deal with how do we they're very tough how do we to conquer with. those those kinds of things that that keep us from uh, from getting along and really kind of uh, expressing ourselves in a healthy way yeah they're the very you're, it's, a, it's a great statement they're the very tough things to deal with and because we are as humans wired with the survival system that when we perceive a threat to our emotional security you know we can go into that mode of bullying or monopolizing attacking someone shutting down just freezing and giving in even though our feelings are completely different and so you know again identifying the obstacle figuring out what it is inside of me that I've learned what it is about my makeup that has me go into this mode is really a first step and sometimes that requires some help in being able to investigate deep within our you know, internal world. Um, it's practice, it's role playing, it's working with a friend, audio tape, videotape yourself, get a sense of how you come across in your communication style so that you can adopt skills and adapt your skills to be more uh, you know, helpful and more convincing and more authentic when you're dealing with these difficult types of people. Would you say finally uh, that it is an art to be able to talk effectively to people? It is. You know, it's in, in my book and on my website, people will often ask about that, about the art of communication with difficult narcissists or with difficult people in general. And it is sort of developing an art where you can, if you understand them well enough, you understand something about the person, something about yourself, then you can enter the conversation with empathy, with an understanding, while still keeping them on the hook and holding them accountable for their obnoxious or off-putting behaviors. Right, don't let them get away with it. Exactly. <laughs> we could talk exactly. about this for a long time. Sure. Uh, but some good pointers there. Thank you so much, Wendy. Thanks for having me. And again, she is the author of the book, Disarming the Narcissist, and also the director of the Cognitive Therapy Center of New Jersey. On air, online, on demand. Watch AFR when you want, where you want with CN8, the Comcast Network.